Hello and welcome to Shortcut to Mushroom's second video blog post. Today I will be vlogging as a disembodied head, as I did before, because I want to make sure you can see what I'm actually doing. Um, I'm going to be making clep today, and I think a lot of people think that clep are a really fancy food, because they're French, um, and that they must be at least somewhat difficult to make, but that isn't not true, in my humble opinion. I'm going to show you first the method for actually making the crepes on the pan, and then I'll tell you the recipe for the batter. What I like to do, because the most important thing here, is to be sure to get a nice thin coating and to make it even. So I like to use a measuring cup. This is a third of a cup and this is the hard part. What you want to try to do is swirl your pan as you're swirling your measuring cup. So I'm not even going to fill this totally full. But you want to just go around and around and then swirl the pan so that you get a nice coating. So this is not actually going to fill up my whole pan. I'm using a 10 inch cast iron skillet. Um, you can certainly use a different pan. One thing you do not need is a crepe pan and I know they are available and a lot of people swear by them and I assume they must make you know nice even crepes. I'm sure they're fine but uh, you can do it just as easily with this 10 inch uh, skillet. So I preheated to medium low because cast iron tends to heat up. In fact, almost every time I do this, it will actually heat up while I'm cooking. So the first few will be very, very nice and then after that it will be too hot. Um, the way you can tell is you can do the little water splash test. So if you throw a little water on the pan, it should sizzle and jump, but it shouldn't disappear immediately. You can tell that it's ready to flip because it'll look kind of dry. Um, it won't be glossy and have the little, well it might still have some little bubbles, but, it, but it'll look dry and then you can flip it over. You want it to be this sort of light golden brown. I don't know if you can see that. There it is, light golden brown and very thin. Um, I'm going to do two different kinds today. Uh, this is actually a sweet batter, but I don't really care. So I'm going to do some with cheese in them. Um, for a savory clap and some with strawberries and a little bit of sugar. Um, the recipe for the batter is from Joy of Cooking. It's three quarters of a cup of flour sifted with a teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons powdered sugar. Uh, create a little well, whisk together, let's see, th uh, two thirds of a cup milk, uh, one third cup water, two eggs, and half teaspoon of vanilla. Um, combine it with as little, work it as little as possible. Um, and then, once you've done that, um, you want to let it, the batter rest for about an hour at room temperature. Um, if you're going to rest any longer, then my mother would tell you to put it in the fridge. Um, crepe batter always freaks her out because I leave it around room temperature. It's got eggs in it. Um, and what else was I going to tell you? Oh yes, it's good to do a teeny little bit of mise en place, um, which I don't normally do much of, but it can come in handy just um, to have a plate with foil ready to go, aluminum foil, and um, have your measuring cup on a paper towel like that. Um, it'll save you a lot of, uh, hmm, oh darn moments. So I was going to say something else, but I guess I should keep this PG. Oh darn moments with your clip. So that's basically all there is to it. Um, hope you enjoyed the recipe and you can get the text version on shortcut hyphen to hyphen mushrooms dot blogspot dot com. Thank you very much.